I absolutely hate making desserts. Maybe it's because I feel like maybe there's just too much effort that goes into it compared to savory dishes, or I could just be lazy. But there are recipes out there that are quite quick to put together and would still impress anyone who's coming over. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a brioche bread pudding that has like a sticky date element to it, which is gonna be beautiful and delicious, and everyone in your household is gonna love it. Like I said, this is pretty much a crossover between your regular bread pudding and a sticky date pudding. I'm also gonna be using some brioche bread, uh, which means we don't actually need day old bread. So this is something you can make in a pinch. Preparation time, 15 minutes, and cook time, 90 minutes. So you don't really have any excuses. Let's get to it. You'll need about 400 grams of brioche bread, three extra large whole eggs, eight extra large egg yolks, two cups of whole milk, one cup of buttermilk, or you can also just replace this with regular milk, two cups of all-purpose cream, one and one-fourth cups of palm sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, some vanilla seeds um, or paste if you have it, some powdered sugar, vanilla ice cream to serve, 200 grams of pitted dates. You can also use prunes one teaspoon of baking soda, and a 3 4 cup of boiling water. Start by cutting up your bread, some in slices and some in cubes. Spread that out on a baking tray. And just toast for about 10 minutes in a 175 degrees Celsius oven until slightly brown and toasted. Chop up your dates, place them in a bowl with the hot water and baking soda. Let that stand for about 10 minutes until it gets nice and soft before mashing it into kind of like a thick loopy paste. In a big bowl, separate your eggs and place your eight yolks and three whole eggs. Beat those first before adding your palm sugar. Once mixed, add in your milk, cream, buttermilk, vanilla, and a touch of salt. You're pretty much done. Yes, it was that easy. Start by placing your bread slices down, then load them up with your chopped bread. Slowly add in your mix. Give the bread some time to really absorb all that liquid. I usually let this stand for about 15 minutes so I can really finish off all the liquids and just give some more time to the bread. We're gonna cook this in a bain-marie, uh, just a fancy way of saying, take a large baking pan out. Add in your pudding pan and then pour in some boiling water until it reaches about two inches in height of your pudding pan. Cover with aluminum foil or an oven bag. We're gonna cook this for about 45 minutes covered and then 45 minutes uncovered at the same temp, so 175 degrees Celsius. You can actually serve this straight out of the oven. I really enjoy a hot bread pudding with some really cold vanilla ice cream on it.
hope my face says it all because this is delicious. The brioche is just toasted just the way you want it right at the top with a little bit of that caramelized date action happening and it's just soft, moist, and the ice cream is really just the clincher that brings it all together. Mm -hmm.